Hi everyone, welcome back to Tech Junkie Central. Today, we're going to talk about configuring ARGB on the Montec King 95 Pro and Ultra. This will also work for many other cases from Montec. So you're wondering how to configure the ARGB lighting. Well, let me tell you, it's super easy. First, you'll need to make sure that all the cables are connected from the ARGB fan hub, these are behind the right side panel looking from the front of the case. In the bottom of the case you will find two SATA power cable connectors and these need to be connected to the SATA power female connectors coming from your power supply unit. Both connectors need to be connected to ensure all the fans and the ARGB lighting have power. Also in the bottom of the case are connectors for the ARGB and PWM fans which need to be plugged onto the motherboard headers. The two connectors come from the hub and control all the fans and the ARGB that is plugged into the hub. There is an additional 3 ARGB and 3 PWM ports on the hub for additional fans and ARGB which are ideal for plugging a AIO or LED light strip. The motherboard headers for the ARGB can be labeled by the manufacturer differently, so please check in the user manual for the name and location. The top left shows a ASUS motherboard and labeled as ADD Gen 2, whilst the bottom shows a Gigabyte and labeled as ADDR LED1. However both headers have the same pin orientation, and the ARGB connector and plug on to the header. The last connector is the PWM fan control. This is a 4-pin connector and has two raised lugs that guide it onto the motherboard fan header. One thing to note is the hub controls all the fan speeds at the same time and cannot be individually controlled. On the motherboard there are usually quite a few fan headers, and again these can be labeled differently by manufacturers. Please consult your motherboard manual and diagram to locate them. Now everything is connected, we can focus on setting up the lighting, being controlled by the motherboard in software. As the lighting is going to be controlled by the motherboard, you can use either the software from your motherboard manufacturer or third-party apps like Signal RGB or Open RGB. On the front panel of the case, the button below the power button is used to change the color of the lighting. You can change the color and effects by pressing the light button and cycling through each one. If you now press and hold the light button for 3 to 5 seconds, all the lighting which is connected to the hub will flash once. This indicates that the lighting is now being controlled by the motherboard. To change the colors and effects, you will now need to use the software you have chosen to do this. A note of caution, using multiple RGB software on one system can lead to a color imbalance between different components. Some users have suffered from fast flashing LEDs due to conflict of several different pieces of software all trying to control the lighting at once. You may have RGB on your RAM and this could be a totally different color to the rest of the lighting if you are using for example, Corsair's IQ software, so choose wisely on the software you use to control the lighting and effects. To change back to using the light button on the front panel you just need to press the light button once, but when you change back again you need to hold the button for 3 to 5 seconds again. I hope this video has been helpful, if it has please give it a like, and hit the subscribe button. If you have a question or have problems trying to get your RGB lighting working correctly, then send me a message for a more personal one-to-one -one solution. Thanks for watching and hope you come back for more useful and helpful videos.